Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you want that piece of apple? I'm very good. What? Mummy, it's flapping at me. How the heck do I do it then? This is the uh, girl that can eat bones. Oh, finger. Wow. That was good. That was very that was good. adorable. Yeah, I'm pretty cute, <laughs> ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Is there more? Afterwards. Okay. Lay down, ma'am. Lay down. Well done. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. <laughs> problem with having big ears like Alba they get lots of mats and I don't like cutting them out normally I tease them out with my fingers but this one was too big and too close to her ear so it isn't possible to do it with my fingers so um I'm using Nova Rain's brush it works yeah it was literally like the size of a 50p, but like the depth of it was quite thick. So it's going to take a little while, isn't it? But we do love your big ears. Yeah. You're so good. Well done. Yeah. This is the result of the mat that was in Alba's ear. Like... I don't even know if I've got something to compare. Oh, yeah, I've got a stamp. <laughs> so, a second-class large stamp. Like, that was one mother tucking mat that was going on in her ear. And there was one bit that was in particular really hard. Um... It's this tiny little ball here, but this is all like the fine, teeny tiny hairs that are attached to like the, her inner ear and whatever else. And we'd go through two secs. We go through their like hair fur stuff, brushing it every couple of days. Literally, they're constantly being brushed. We're constantly running our fingers through their ears. And all that this takes is like a couple of goes of them doing this, like a nice eerie itch, and boom, there's a mat gone on. Um, and yes, that took probably about an hour to take off, but she must feel so much better from it being off now than all her hair being tied down, down by her ear. And just like when you think of the owners that don't sort their dogs mats out or when you see like a dog that's been rescued and you can barely see him because of the mats and that it's so heartbreaking because it doesn't take that long to to pull them out i mean you can see like all the different knots and whatever that's gone on but um as long as like the quick the, as quick as they get made, they can get taken out. And I just think it's heartbreaking when there's these owners that don't spend that time 
with their dogs mm -hmm. particularly like like you always get told when you get a dog to make sure you play with their paws mouth and ears like regularly because it's the stuff that the vets need to look at and, and it's usually the stuff that the animals tend not to like yeah to have them like that. um <clears throat> and if you get a pup and the best way for you to like do that especially with their ears is just by playing with their ears and brushing them regularly and are you happy now elba yeah is that better you are welcome princess right as soon as i was done she was jumped up and giving me lots and lots of kisses so yeah she appreciate appreciates it but yeah like it doesn't take much like when with the pups just like fussing their ears um if you're going to give them a treat like let them have it and then like introduce it slowly where you just ask like can i have a look and then have a look and then give it back to them and know that they can get it back and that it's okay to hand it over and things because that's what we do with um our girls and yeah it's just for the small amount of time it will take for them to get used to you fiddling with their ears and whatever it's, it's it. yeah it's like a lifetime of ease for the vets and for you just bonding with your dog um but yeah thankfully our girls are very well accustomed to don't you make another one us though. playing with their ears and things in fact we really like they it do more than yeah so i'm gonna get on and try and finish this mobile because i'm nearly done yay, yay! look guys this was our two pound baby carrier what a bargain and um she is in there but this because she's head. so premmy this is her head right yeah here. <laughs> just look how gorgeous it is thank you mm. over rain. <laughs> yeah mama you'll get used to wearing and obviously we got it as well so i can try and figure out of me how i can like wear and transfer and do everything and find I still feel a bum through it it's so cute um yeah and just to see whether we've got i'll turn the camera around there's a there's another type of carrier as well that doesn't attach to the person it, you can hold it in your hands um if this doesn't work for me for mobilizing around the house we have thought about maybe getting this what this other one so it's just going to be all a bit of trial and error to figure out what works best for me um because obviously Soph can just pick up the baby and just wander around not as easy with me when i'm like to go up and down the stairs because i don't want it to be the case that i can't bring any baby down the stairs or take them to bed or whatever um and it will be then on Soph. so we'll find solutions yeah this is this was another reason why we got a reborn is because they are correctly weighted they do have wobbly heads and it means that we can get the exact practice and knowledge that we are going to need um and it just so happens that we got a bargain of a price for a, um a carrier i need to figure out what price it was it's actually retailing that it's got a label on it so i'm gonna go do that now and i'll put in here how much it retails if i can find it so I couldn't write it down because I'm a bit in shock. I mean, I knew I know that carriers are expensive. <laughs> She's so in love with her. I can't wait to have a baby and witness Miss Alba with her or him. Um, but yeah. I, I know that they're expensive. <laughs> this carrier costs £75. We just paid £2 for it. Including or not including postage? Not including. I think the postage was like £3. But obviously that's no... And on eBay, obviously they're going to have to pay a percentage to eBay as well. So they're probably going to have got £1.50 for it. 
which is better than nothing. But when you pay £75 for a carrier, yeah. I do feel quite bad. But it's their, they did put it up for a bid. And they didn't put like a higher starting price either. Or uh, it must be this to yeah. pass. So it's not our fault that we got it for that. But the guilt still does sit in. But yay for camper vans and yay for a very expensive carrier. Are you hugging mummy? I am. Albert? No. Don't, don't talk to me. I'm just gonna get cuter. Is she being naughty? Yeah, she's barking. Yeah. Lower. Gorgeous. I love you, you know that? I do. Can I have a kiss? Yes, you can, mum. Thank you. You're welcome, mum. She's so not like other dogs. You might, you guys might have seen that, like, um, people are just like, oh, let's see how your dogs react when you go to lick them. Albert doesn't care. Hmm. Like, other dogs will literally, like, like yeah, like, straight away and, like, like... Not really, mummy. Yeah. Um... And there's a Dipsy. Sitting on the floor. Oh, she ran away. Cute. She just came up and broccoli burped at me, so I'm guessing she's just been out with mummy to feed Gizmo. Is that right? Did you just feed Gizmo? Did you? Did you just go see Gizmo? Yeah? Gorgeous girl. So, I have a response back from Say It With A Sock, and... <laughs> Basically, they're extremely apologetic about the fact that I've received the same pair three times now. They are going to be... Well, they said they were going to be contacting the distribution warehouse to find out what on earth is going on. And they've arranged for um, a replacement pair or two pairs ASAP. So... Let's see whether we will get a completely different pair. But Soph made a good point that they they said it again this time it they would organise a replacement pair. So we're wondering 
if when they say replacement pair, it's like the distribution warehouse is thinking we need to replace ones because they're like broke. I literally just threw that for you, mummy. Literally. <laughs> Dixie's thrown her toy down the stairs when Sophie's trying to come up with all my meds. Um, but yeah, like, are the distribution warehouse thinking they need to replace them because something's happened to them? Or is it that they're replacing them because they've literally got things muddled up? Or are they actually going to replace them as in, give me no. But who knows? So... Yeah, um, Miss Nova Rain went and had a bit of a lie down in the pram downstairs earlier today. I'll put in a picture here of her because she was super cute. Um, and so video called me whilst we done it because obviously I can't get down there right now. Um, but yeah, she had her in the, um, the sling and was wearing her, but then she needed to do some dishes. So couldn't really wear her whilst doing dishes because that would have been a little bit awkward. Um, so yeah, so I've put her in the pram and she looked super adorable. Um, I bless you. But yes, like I said, Sophie's bringing up my meds now, so I'm going to take them and I probably won't be awake for long because lately I take my meds and I'm pretty much out of it within a few minutes, like 10, 20 minutes I start going a bit doodally. It's quite funny. It's really not. <laughs> so... Thanks for coming on stay with us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Boom.